Uplift is a European research project involving 15 partners from eight different countries that will support the transition to a more sustainable and circular plastic sector, integrating the current mechanical and chemical recycling. The overall idea is to bio-upcycle challenging plastic wastes into more renewable and easily recyclable polymers following a biorefinery and eco-design approach. Uplift has developed chemo-enzymatic and microbial conversion processes to respectively break down and upcycle plastic packaging waste materials that are currently considered unrecyclable. The obtained building blocks are then repolymerized into more circular ecopolymers using design for recyclability, uh, so-called eco-design principles. The word depolymerization means to cut a long molecule like PET into many small pieces, the so-called monomers, which we can add as building blocks to curate new materials. Within Uplift, we cut the PET by special enzymes, which are produced by a genetically modified Escherichia coli strain developed by Alborg University at LabScale. Therefore, an essential part of the depolymerization is the production of these enzymes and their application in large reactors done at HKI. When we have enough of these, we mix post-consumer PET and enzymes under elevated temperatures and wait to let the enzymes do their job, the deep polymerization. The generated monomer is tartaric acid, which is then crystallized and dried to get shipped to the next process step for bio-upcycling into bioplastics. Formation of aromatic chemicals from glucose through microbial catalysis was evaluated by Uric. After the trains transfer, HKA optimized the fermentation in shake flask, which led to a higher concentration of the desired product for hydroxyphenyl acetic acid. The optimized process was upscaled first to 7 liter scale and finally to 30 liter scale, in which the fat batch strategy was also demonstrated. HKA also developed a lab scale downstream process. Both fermentation and DSP processes were transferred to BioBase Europe Pyro plant to further stepwise upscaling. The technology transfer took place at 150 liter scale and was further successfully upscaled to 1,500 liter. The produced product was distributed to partners for application tests. In our work package, we utilize the products from the depolymerization and fermentation tasks at different purities as a starting point for the preparation of new ecopolymers and additives. Our work was focused on a variety of materials, including aromatic polyesters, for example, from terephthalic acid and foreign dicarboxylic acid, and aliphatic polyesters from lactite and aliphatic carboxylic acid, along with novel polymer blends and copolymers incorporating aromatic building blocks. We followed various polymerization strategies applying enzymatic processes, as well as polycondensation and ring opening polymerization, for which we developed new non toxic catalysts shown here. Besides classical batch conditions, we applied microwave and reactive extrusion setups to investigate more efficient methods for the polymer production. This comprehensive approach enabled us to create materials with enhanced properties, such as improved thermal features and degradability. The chain of production and isolation of high purity monomers in quantities that are only beginning to become relevant for technical applications is an enormous challenge that was demonstrated in the Uplift project. Our upscaling makes it possible to make interesting polymers relevant for commercially viable products because upscaling enables large quantities and thus economic efficiency. Their use in the manufacture of high interesting products such as bottles, films and packaging enables them to be reintroduced into the economic cycle. By Biopcycling plastic waste into novel ecopolymers, Uplift will contribute to increased recycling rates of challenging plastic waste without the need of previous sorting, as is the case for conventional mechanical recycling, and uh, also increase bioplastics and renewable materials, thus reducing our dependency in uh, fossil resources. Moreover, by keeping plastic waste in the loop and integrating bio-based building blocks instead of virgin fossil-based monomers, Uplift will reduce plastic waste generation and greenhouse gas emissions associated with its production. This can provide further motivation and driving force for increasing recycling rates and suggests that the plastic biorefinery concept 
could play an important role in the transition to a more bio-based and more circular plastic sector.